What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Roddy. Do me a favor, smash that like button if you are excited for Pepe to be possibly listed on Binance. We'll talk about that here in a second because it's got some very, very important information about Pepe and Binance maybe in the future. But Pepe got a huge exchange listing recently on OKX, which if you know anything about exchanges, OKX is one of the biggest and most trusted cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. You can see when it comes to exchange score, they are ranked number six. This is a huge deal. And even when we go to volume, right, they're still ranked about number eight. So this is a huge W for the Pepe community. And will more tier one exchange listings come in the future? I think so. Now, will CZ list uh, Pepe on the biggest exchange in the world? Remember, when it comes to 24-hour trading volume, Binance is number one with just about $10 billion in daily trading volume. The second largest exchange, you know, when it comes to trading volume is Indo EX, and it has about you know three and a half billion dollars in daily volume. But when we go to score, you can see Binance is number one, right? And score and volume, and number two is Coinbase with only about you know 10% of their daily trading volume. That's a big deal. So any sort of Binance listing for Pepe would absolutely send it into the stratosphere and it would absolutely hit multi-billion dollar market caps, right? Now, of course, we had a crazy pump over the weekend, right? Now keep in mind, a lot of people are freaking out about this pullback we're having in Pepe right now, right? But what goes up sharply must come back down. So this sort of price correction is not abnormal for me, and we're already starting to see a lot of people buy the dip. So there's an AMA this morning, right? And people ask like, hey, CZ, will you list Pepe? And he says, yeah, if it meets all the criteria, right? So that's actually important. That's giving people, right? That's giving people some sort of hope that Pepe could get listed on Binance. So what is the criteria for getting listed on Binance? Now, this is very, very interesting. So we had an article that came out in uh, near the end of 2021. Now, a lot has happened over the last year when it comes to, you know, uh, rules and stuff like that when it comes to regulation. But one of the biggest criteria, right, is check this out. This is a quote from CZ. It says, if a quote has a large number of users, then we will list it. That's the overwhelming significant attribute. Consider, for example, meme tokens. Even though I personally don't get it, if it's used by a large number of users, we will list it. We go by the community. My opinion doesn't matter. And when it comes to community, Pepe has been absolutely uh, just breaking. I mean, it's gained another thousand followers in the last hour. These guys in two weeks have 140,000 Twitter followers. And in my opinion, Twitter is the most important social media when it comes to just advertising crypto in general. I mean, Elon Musk owns it. He's a Doge father, right? Everyone hears about cryptocurrency news first on Twitter and they're growing like crazy. Now, if we go over to the Ether scan, you can see that Pepe has been going absolutely insane when it comes to number of holders. Check this out. These guys already have 64,000 holders, right? Now, that doesn't tell the whole story because those holders are Etherscan wallets and they, I mean, they have 68,000 now. I mean, freaking Dex tools can't even keep up. But for each of these wallets, like OKX, thousands of more holders. Whoa, be thousands of more holders. So this probably has close to 100,000 holders when it comes to uh, just people that are in Pepe. That's a lot of users in only two weeks. Now, the biggest thing I'm going to be looking for is use case, right? Use case is really, really big. Now, one thing I want to uh, point out, right, because these are some listing tips from Binance. So this is a little bit of an older article, but it still ranks true today. So these are some of the things they really require uh, for these products to get listed, right? And, and, and I want to point this out because it could be significant going down the road. Now, uh, back in the day, it was commonplace for cryptocurrency products to get listed on these exchanges without having anybody that's doxxed, right? It's important to have someone who's doxxed going forward, right? Because they need somebody to answer to just in case someone needs something or something like that, right? So check this out. Of course, they talk about, you know, making sure you apply and, you know, go to their website and use the application, right? You want to make sure that you include all the info you wish to communicate with us in this form, right? And keep in mind that 98% of projects don't hear back from Binance when they submit their application, right? So this is true, right? But keep in mind, these exchanges look for volume and these projects, or Pepe has a lot of volume. Now, this is the big one here. It says, we require the project founder, our CEO, to fill out the form. Why? If there's ever a bug with your wallet, a fork or a double spend in your blockchain, we still need to talk to a key person, right? So what is their wallet? What are they talking about? When these products get listed on exchanges, right, obviously, like Binance would have a wallet right here, right, on their holders, right? So just in case anything goes down, they need to talk to somebody. So are the Pepe dead? 
devs, you know, you know, are, is somebody going to be willing to communicate with Binance and other top exchanges, right? Very, very important. Another thing I want to point out is, is the token uh, going to bridge over to the BNB network, right? The BNB chain. Because remember, obviously, Binance has their own chain. A lot of people like to buy meme coins on the, the Binance smart chain. But as of right now, Pepe is an ERC-20 token, right? It's obviously on the Ethereum blockchain. So will they bridge over, right? Interesting, right? Supporting Binance in their community, right? So bridging over to the BNB chain would be good for them, maybe to get listed on a big exchange. Remember, Shiba Inu obviously is an ERC twenty token and never and never bridged over to the Binance Smart Chain and still got listed on Binance. So keep that in mind, right? Now, number eight, I think is a big one. If you are responsive and professional during uh, due diligence, it will help expedite the process. Now, these are very, 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 very important, and a lot of projects get themselves in trouble with these, right? Do not shill coins to CZ on Twitter and social media. A lot of people in the community, right? They're going to tag Binance and those sorts of things because people in the community do those sorts of things, right? Now, if you're a developer on this project or you're coming from the official page, you cannot tell people to go, oh, hey, read, raid CZ, raid uh, CZ's uh, Twitter and make sure he knows that Pepe wants to get listed on Binance. Those sorts of things will get you blacklisted. And let me tell you something. Some products have gotten blacklisted in our space and I don't think they'll ever get you, they'll ever, like, ever in the future, like get listed on Binance because I think they already burned those bridges. It's one of the biggest things that a lot of products mess up on is that you have to make sure, right? They have a strict NDA process, right? A non-disclosure agreement. If you get listed or get accepted, get listed on some of these exchanges, you can't announce it before the exchange, right? You just can't do that, right? Because if you do that, it, it breaks the, the contract and they won't list you and they probably blacklist you uh, forever. So you have to make sure that if there's some sort of listing agreement that it's airtight, right? No one knows about it until the exchange uh, says something because that makes it so people can't insider trade, right? It makes it so that uh, there's complete transparency in the community. So, right, those are the main points. There's a lot of other tips and stuff like that, but those are the main points that these products have to look out for. So, will Pepe get listed on Binance? Now, I think in order for Pepe to get on a Binance or a Coinbase or anything like that, they're going to have to have some like point of contact, right? Some uh, contact, excuse me, some person that's going to be willing, right? Docs person, right? To uh, communicate with these exchanges so they can have someone to talk to and those sorts of things, right? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Pepe will get listed on an exchange like Binance? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm going to be posting a video later today talking about how CoinGecko may be become uh, become better than coin uh, market cap when it comes to just listing tokens correctly because coin gecko listed pepe correctly and coin market cap has it so let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you very very soon peace